Whoa, those are giant straps. How did you do that, Lambo? What? Want to keep up with the latest Garrett videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Yo, yo, people, get you in here for another video. So, guys, we're here back in Farm Simulator 19, and we have something very special. So, I gotta say a giant thank you to Lambo Mods and his team. Uh, that's Winston, Beardshot, and all the other guys that are over there. Um, yeah, you guys, you guys have spoiled us. Um, I'm gonna throw the Patreon down below. In order to get access to these mods right away, uh, like get them today, you need to go ahead and join Lambo Mods Patreon page. So that's yeah, that that that's how that is. Uh, but I will link it down below. Uh, so go over, support. Show them some love. Um, but yeah, first see what you're going to get by continuing to watch this video. So what one of the new mods that they just released today is, first off, this insane map with tons of water, uh, which we're going to check out more and more as time goes on. Also, I do want to say before we continue that this stuff all, uh, it's not complete. It's still being worked on. There's still lots more to come. So yeah, just, I don't know. It's cool the way it is, obviously. Uh, but stuff will get better and better from here. So there's just the first like stable version of everything that they decided to release. So either way, here we go. Um, yeah, so we have the map that they made and then also this uh, this cargo boat. Now there is a few other boats that they made too. We're really just going to be focusing on this one for now. Uh, and the reason for that is because we are going to be hopefully loading it up. Now I do want to say um, that again, there's lots of stuff happening um like these mods are still being worked on so i do have to say that there might be some bugs you might see in this video some not even relating to anything that is on this map just bugs that the game has um yeah so either way it's going to be a little bit weird because you don't have uh, at least i couldn't figure out a good way to do this yet uh, i spent literally a few hours setting this up on and off it it definitely took a while even though it may not look like it um but yeah either way we have our, first off, this GP truck. Uh, I don't know who made the original one, but this Kenworth. Um, but either way, the logos were thrown on by, uh, I think his name is Babcock Farms. I think that's how you say it. Uh, I'll link it down below. There's a giant pack that was released uh, where you can get this truck and a Ford Raptor and a really cool Ram. Uh, and on top of that, you get these trailers, which also it's kind of hidden, but there's a GP logo there. So that's pretty cool. I'll link that down below as well. Uh, but yeah, so this tank thing right here, again, made by Lambo Mods uh, and his team. And then, yeah, we're going to be loading them up onto the cargo ship. So I don't have a good way to get them onto this trailer. That's what our base issue is right now. And another thing too is, you know, sometimes in the game, things kind of get weird and start bouncing. I've had that issue a bit today. I don't know why. Uh, it was all going good and then it started bugging out um, and I can't get it to stop doing that. So hopefully it won't be too big of an issue. Um, but yeah, either way, so let's go ahead. We'll bring this over for now. Uh, the original trailer, by the way, was made by Expendables Modding, but the logos are thrown on by uh, Babcock. By the way, this is the same trailer that can like you can attach stuff on and whatnot. Um, but yeah, so if the trailer looks jumpy ever, it's not because of the mod it's because there's something wrong with my game itself so just ignore if like you see the wheels start lifting up or anything weird like that uh yeah just don't worry it shouldn't be like that for you it wasn't like that earlier it just it just randomly started so either way uh we're definitely gonna need our headlights now lambo if you're watching which you i'm assuming are or at least someone uh in your team is uh please add a little bit of light in underneath here i don't know how hard that's going to be or how laggy it would be or whatever but it's very very dark underneath this uh if we could just have some big tall lights thrown up here i think that'd be pretty cool okay i'm just gonna set this on the ground here i know this part's not that realistic my apologies but that's the best we, we need to get on the ground so i can actually use the crane there is a giant crane which we'll be using i probably should have mentioned that um but yeah it should be pretty cool by the way guys again want to say thank you for all the support on recent videos i do appreciate it sorry if this one seems a little bit messy uh i i really spent a while getting this like okay this thing right here moves four kilometers an hour 
And when you were turning and stuff, it moves closer, like two kilometers an hour. It was very hard to get over because there was this wall and stuff. Uh, the boat goes very, very slow as well. So I had to drive it all around the map and, oh, it was a pain. Um, but yeah, if Lamp was watching, maybe speed some of this stuff up a bit. At least like the the boat, uh, I would appreciate. Or like making like the cargo ship have a different option. Because I know cargo ships don't go that fast. Uh, but just, I don't know, give us some options for it. Okay, either way, let's go ahead. I think we should be good probably now to attach. There we go. You see how we kind of strapped in there? I might even try driving this forward a bit. We should be able to do. There we go. Okay. Uh, we can actually switch our camera. I don't know what the best camera view will be for this. Um. Okay, that's a weird camera view. <laughs> I think. I don't know. This this view looks kind of good. Okay. So yeah, let's align that, and then go like so. Okay, and now let's attach it again. There we go. Got a strap on there. Okay, so let's start lifting it up. And I've never actually lifted any of these containers with this crane yet. So I'm happy it is working good. I knew it was going to work. I just didn't know how easy it was going to be do, to do. Okay, so up top we have this weight. I'm guessing it's to counterbalance it. So let's see where that currently is, if that's good. Okay, let's go back to the free cam kind of mode. There we go. Okay. And I don't know how far into the cargo ship we're going to be able to extend this, but... We will see. Okay, I want to move this weight way over here. Do not want to tip this thing. I wonder how heavy that weight is. That, that I'm talking about that red uh, weight up top, by the way. But either way, guys, before we continue, though, here's a message from our sponsor. Join Lamp Mod's Patreon page to instantly receive access to some amazing modding creations. You will get early access to Lambo, Winston, and Beardshot's awesome ideas. On top of all that, you will get cool textures and other unique modding tools. Join today using the link below. You're good, you're good. Okay, move that weight fully out. Perfect. Okay, let's get this thing over here. We shouldn't go too fast. I think that's our biggest issue. See, now now it's over the boat. There we go. Okay, let's turn it. Uh, no, okay, you know what? That's perfect. We got that perfectly, I, I believe. Okay, let's slow this down. Nice and slowly. Uh, we'll move our weight in actually a little bit. Just because we don't want it to tip over. Okay. Um, okay. Keep lowering down. Does it have any lights? Uh, oh, it does. Uh, pretty useless lights, though. At least for the brightness right now. Okay. There we go. Got it down. Deattach. Pull it back up. And bring it in. There we go. So we got one of them on the cargo ship. That's perfect. Okay. Now we do have the ability to strap. Oh, geez. Uh, we have the ability to strap these down. Can I jump? There we go. Um, okay. I don't know if we can do it by hand or how we're supposed to do it. The boat does have collision, by the way. Um, okay. Yeah, I think we have to go like into the boat in order to do it. So let's go ahead. Let's just strap this down. By the way, the boat does drive and stuff, obviously. Uh, oh, there, is there no strap over there? Are you kidding me? No. Okay, you know what? It's okay. It's okay. Um, yeah, we're still gonna... We're still gonna put that there. Uh, yeah, okay. That's that's interesting. Um, wow, I'm surprised that there's no the straps. Whoa, those are giant straps. How did you do that, Lambo? What? These are ginormous. I didn't know you could do that. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and bring another uh, another canister over. Another barrel drum. Whatever you call these. Okay, here. You know what, guys? I I kind of got something working to bring these over. Um, We have this, like, wheel loader. And I've got these giant forks on it. I wish they maybe were a little bit longer. But it seems to be holding us pretty good. We aren't really centered. Yeah, I should have probably centered that a little bit better, but it's at least on there, I guess. Like, I don't know. Yeah, it's it might fall off here shortly, but we will see. I, I really didn't center this good at all. Okay, come on. We're so close. Don't fall off now. Just nice and slow. There we go. By the way, guys, again, the trailer, like, 
uh, it usually will not be like that for you guys. It is literally just the games being weird right now. Uh, by the way, also, I usually would restart my game if that happens, but last time I tried doing that on this map, I lost all the progress. Um, yeah, I was going to record this video a few hours ago, and then for some reason I couldn't reopen the map again. It just wouldn't load. So don't know what happened with that one, but we, we got it working now, so I just had to redo everything all my restart all my progress uh, okay can you get off these forks now maybe this is why we should look at this it's stuck it is stuck and this is a diesel tank so let's not damage it there we go okay and then that should be good so let's go ahead hop back in here uh where is the clip i think it's over here i think like you're supposed to go like up these stairs and stuff and what not uh how do i whoops okay you know what let's just enter since we can okay oh uh, yeah let's drive this thing back a bit oh actually you know what it did shift so we're gonna have to realign it slightly there we go okay perfect okay let's lower that down uh i still don't know what camera view i like best uh, okay, no, we have to go forward a bit. There we go. And shift this over. Okay. Uh, we can turn it all as well. Yeah, see? These camera views are challenging. I guess this one's probably pretty good. Uh, yeah, okay, you know what? I like this one. I didn't really like it at first, but I wish, like... We weren't looking up, so I wish we could look a little bit lower down. It goes more straight down, but it's cool nonetheless. Um, okay, let's lower. We, we need to move forward a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Okay, attach the straps. Ooh, I think we got a good we got a good attachment that time. Here, let's see. Let's see what let's see what's going on. That looked kind of cool. Uh, oh, yeah, we got, okay, so we got this strap and this strap. Okay. I don't know if that's how it was last time, but I don't think it was. Okay, either way, let's go ahead and raise that up. Uh, I guess we should drive this forward a little bit further. There we go. Okay. Yeah, if we could get it aligned like that, that should be good. Okay, let's bring this thing over nice and slowly. We'll keep our camera with it too. There we go. I see. I don't really like this view for some reason, but it's kind of okay for this. How much further? Come on. Bit further. Bit more. There we go. Okay. And then we can rotate this. Whoops. Uh, rotate it that way. And then I guess lower it down. No, I don't like that camera view. Okay, lower that down. There we go. And touch down. Detach. Raise back up. Move this in. We'll counter it with our weight. Perfect. Okay. That should be good. And then let's just go ahead and strap it down. This is this is going good. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't think we can do this manually, right? No, there's no, maybe if we, oh, wait, I saw it. Uh, oh, we're kind of, I probably should take the stairs, but I'm trying to just jump up. Yeah, okay, let's take the stairs. Let's see if we can do this. Now, in real life, with these giant straps, I don't know how easy that would do, would be to do by hand, but it's the best we, oh, I fell off. Okay, let's just go inside and do it. It's all good. Let's enter the cargo ship. Uh, there we go. Oh, look at that. They Whoa, we actually got that on perfectly. Okay, I'm happy with that. So, guys, either way, that's it for this video. We'll call it here. Uh, yeah, there's still lots more to do, lots more to come. Hopefully, we don't lose a save because uh, I would love to transport more stuff uh, in the future. And yeah, I'm going to be talking to Lambo and stuff. Hopefully, can hear his vision and stuff. Because stuff looks like it's 
go in the right direction. Um, yeah, just want to see what's in the plans right now. There is another ship, by the way, guys, that's pretty much, it, like, it's done. Just the driving's a little bit messed up with it. So, like, a giant ship like this. It actually has more detail than this ship, too. So, yeah, it's really, really cool. It has a quite nice interior and everything. But, yeah, that just needs a little bit of work. And then we'll be good. And I don't know. Either way, thanks for watching. Here's the inside of the boat. If you guys are wondering, you guys are awesome. I don't know how I got in here. Uh, yeah, bye-bye. Want to play games with your friends? Grab a dedicated server from G Portal. Make sure to click the link down below to receive an instant 5% discount.